what's up, Ben? Just chilling out. Just woke up. It's like 8.40. Anyway, uh, so I went to a hand doctor, hand surgeon yesterday. That's their thing. They specialize in hands, fingers, elbows, the the whole bit. And uh, she, she had a pretty interesting diagnosis. So at first, the MA put me through a whole bunch of like range of motion tests. And then she came in and did some more range of motion tests. And I told her all about my history with guitar and pain with writing and typing and all that shit. And um, I passed all of the range of motion and, uh, I guess, strength tests. They had, like, a couple of tests where I would, like, just press, like, something or, like, squeeze something or whatever. And they measured, like, the amount of pressure I could apply with a gauge. And I passed all those tests, passed the range of motion tests. Um, I passed all the, like signs of tingling tests so she concluded it wasn't anything to do with the nerve at all which was a relief because she said if there was anything to do with the nerve there would surely be numbness and numbness and tingling that preceded the pain but all I have is pain I don't have numbness or tingling as any of the symptoms so she said that completely rules out the nerve the factor of nerve pain or nerve damage and also there's no tendonitis because, well, I passed all the tests without having any pain or anything like that. Um, so she was like, given it's not those two things, she's left to just say like everything is structurally sound and there's nothing really that she could do. But she did have an opinion on what was causing it. And what she said was causing it was that, and she, again, she said this is like kind of a shot in the dark, so to speak. But um, I started lifting pretty young. And what happens when you, I don't know the full science behind it, but what happens when you start lifting young is it can make it hard for your muscles to adapt to the bones are growing, right? The plates are plates of your bones are growing out and shit and lifting can make it difficult for the muscles to lengthen properly to accommodate that growth in the bone plates and the spreading of the bone plates. And the fact that I started lifting so young may have kind of delayed that process of the muscles lengthening to their proper length of set. Um, in the right place with the bones. So her um, hypothesis, so to speak right now, is that this will actually heal with time because my left arm actually had this same problem with writing and typing. And I got the symptoms right around the same time as my right arm, which was like three years ago. But my left arm healed. So she said, that's probably a good sign that that is what's going on and that it will heal eventually with the right arm. It's just that it's taking longer because you put more stressors on your right arm because that's your writing hand, that's your picking hand all that shit and every single time you do that it t tends to tighten up the muscle and it's already too tight or not tight tight I don't know if this is the right word it's just literally not long enough because it hasn't accommodated the growth in those bone plates yet and she thinks that may have to do with the fact that I started lifting young but long story short is that um, there's no there's no risk of doing any damage. Um, I asked her if I should stop lifting or anything, and she said, actually, if lifting is making you feel better, which I told her it does, she said you should keep that going because there's, there's no point in stopping it. You're not doing any damage to yourself, which is the best part of going to see her. She was like, you're not doing any damage, whether you play guitar or lift or whatever. There's nothing structurally wrong with your arms or wrists or fingers or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about that. And as far as I asked her about guitar too, of course, and she said, um, it's pretty much just up to your personal discomfort. Uh, if it's feeling like shit, then obviously just don't play. But, um, that was the main thing. And she said, if it had, if the symptoms haven't stopped within like a year or a little bit longer or numbness and tingling starts, then go back and see her. Otherwise just have fun and play guitar, do whatever you want just live without the worry that it's actually doing any damage which I guess is the best part of all this so in the end uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna just kind of like work I'm not really gonna try and get faster or whatever on guitar I'm just gonna try and like have a few weeks where I just kind of focus on like relaxing and getting in tune with my body and getting back like just kind of trying different approaches as far as my picking hand and seeing if I can get something that's really relaxed and works well for me uh, I think that's going to be something that's a key in the long run for just helping to bring down that pain. And if I end up working and getting something going that seems pretty good, I will definitely be down to uh, to go back to lessons. I just got to give it some time. Anyhow, man, that's the, that's the gist of it. All right, peace.